and welcome to Art Club. I'm Naz and today I'm going to be showing you how to make some Jubilee Bunting fit for a queen. If you have a look on Winding House on their website, you'll be able to download um, some worksheets to help you make and also some bunting templates and a sheet for decoration. So that's to help you. But you can also just create it at home and your own ideas. And if you can share the work that you do uh, with Winding House and us at Art Club, hashtag decorate to celebrate, then we can show all your lovely bunting. It'd be fab to have it and see it around different community spaces um, in your place of work or even at home hung in your window for others to see so to create your bunting you need first some card it could be recycled cards like uh, some cereal boxes or some packaging and then a scissors to cut out pencil to draw your bunting glue or tape up to you um, and then you may want to use a ruler or you can use anything like a book to use for straight edges and then it's just thinking about decoration. So I have um, tissue paper, old wrapping paper, old leaflets. You could use um, doilies if you have anything like that to hand for pattern is great. If you've got anything else at home to decorate, you could colour with tea if you want to. The Queen loves a cup of tea. Um, you could colour with coffee. You can use anything you have to hand. It's really nice to use some recycled things. Have a look through your recycling box and see what you've got. Once you've created your bunting, you can then think about hanging it. You can either use old string, could be garden string, any ribbon lying around from presents maybe, and you can even use wool, which is my favourite, making hundreds of pom-poms usually with it. So you can either create your own template, which I'll be showing you, or you can print off the template on the Winding House uh, website, or you can look in the links below for more details. First of all, you're creating a triangle shape, okay? So it's up to you how you do this. You can fold your piece of paper or cards, depending on how big you've got it. You can use any scraps. There's a few different ways to do it. So you can go straight from the edge, your folded edge, draw a diagonal line going up however far you want to and then what I do at the top is draw another line going over and this gives you your foldable tab okay so it looks like that if you want both sides decorated if you cut out your bunting and double it over you then end up with both sides decorated if you like so once you've got your bunting cut out, you're ready to decorate it then. And I'm going to show you lots of different ways today to create your own unique bunting. Okay, it'd be really nice to put this on display and make people smile. And I'd love to see what you make. So please share with us and pop a picture online. First of all, I'm going to do one with some pencil. So I'm going to start to design, which could be some cake, could be the Queen's corgi, uh, anything you like. So I'm just gonna do some words and a crown here. And then it's up to you what you use. I've got a few um, felt pens here, but you can use anything to decorate yours. And then you can start to decorate your bunting and start to add some color. And you'll end up then with some different ones. So I've done quite colorful ones here. I thought of community. So it could be words, could be letters. I love cakes. It could be a nice cupcake to celebrate. If you're using book paper, for example, or newspaper, I love to just rip it down. So this is thinking of collage now. I love that sound. So rip your paper into squares or strips, up to you. If you're really neat, you could cut it out if you like. Take one of your bunting designs, get your glue stick on in sections and layer your paper over. If you've been lucky, from Winding House, you may have got a pack with lots of lovely things inside it, including the worksheets, and you could use the stamps on that to decorate your bunting as well. So you can see there, I'm just layering across, and remember the top folds down, so you don't need to decorate the top part, you're just decorating that part underneath. And what you'll end up with then, here's what I did earlier, collage bunting set up and I've just tidied up the edges as you can see it and that'll get nice and strong. I've also used leaflets so you could decorate them with leaflet and then think about the design so when I'm setting them up then on the string I'll show you then this will be um, a really nice design that will balance it out so you might want different designs in each one. 
collect a piece of twine, string, ribbon, um, whatever you've got to hand, could be some wool. And then you're going to take your bunting, flip it over the other way, just going to glue under here or tape. So again, whatever tape you've got lying around in the house, and that will hold it in place for you to hang up. And then you have your bunting, as simple as that. You can add ribbons or extra streaming bits at the side if you want to, and more embellishments on top. So if you've got buttons or things you want to decorate it, or you can just keep it nice and simple like this one. For the next one, again, it's collage, which I love. Here's some earlier examples. So this is just a layered background, and then you could put words on the top. You could put different emblems or pattern and keep it really nice and colourful and quite busy design. So I've just got some um, magazine pages here. So again, these could be free magazines or could be full of flowers or food, anything that you like. And then you can either cut out and add strips for the background or you can rip. It's completely up to you. So here I've got lots of lovely designs and I even found Jack here. I will just start to layer on top lots of bits and bobs to create a picture and a pattern and this gets really addictive so you'll be doing this all day. So you'll see and I mean you can build out your bunting it doesn't have to be a flat shape but then I'll turn it around and I'll cut these edges to get a really nice tidy line. Also your bunting could be different shapes it could be a flag or um, a different emblem. It doesn't have to be triangular, but I do like the triangle bunting for this. So you'll see then you've got a lovely collage design. So once you've finished adding all the collage to your lovely bunting, you can then set up how you want them to look and take the back like we did before, add your string or ribbon, and then you've got some lovely collage bunting to hang. This is the lovely collage ones we've done and we've added some extra embellishments of crimes. We've then got I Love Colour, obviously linked to Art Club as well. I'm inspired by the rainbow still. I've done a lovely colourful tissue paper one here with some collage. You may want to do one with more muted tones and this could be from wrapping paper that you've got at home. Or you could use kitchen foil or other decorations. I've done one here that's kind of silver and gold. So, And then you can also use the tissue paper and make it into tissue paper balls and stick it onto the paper so it adds a little bit more of a dimension to it. So then you could also use your template and you could trace onto other pieces of card or paper that you have. So here I've got a bit of silver card. Get my design on there. Cut it out. Fold over. And then what I'm going to do to this one is just add a little bit of pattern with a doily. So again, use your trusty glue stick and add some glue and decide where you want your design. So it, your doily could go on the side, on the bottom top it's completely up to you so just thinking of making the bunting match or you could make each piece unique so then you have some delicate doily bunting here that you can show off in your window so another idea for bunting if you have some colored card or paper you could use over the top or even paint and then you can start you could use the templates that are online so i've cut out one of them here from the winding house and it's all about layering so if you had another sheet of paper or something you could layer underneath or on top just adds different color and a different dimension to your work then and you've got your bunting ready to hang and you can add your other shapes and designs on top
today at Art Club in my studio in Lantarnham Grange. I hope you've enjoyed creating and I cannot wait to see what you create with your bunting. Make sure you share, add it in your lovely windows and in your community and tag Art Club and Winding House, hashtag decorate to celebrate.